how to prepare a closing checklist for sellers. That's the topic of my next video. There are many steps involved in selling your home, but the final one is one of the most important, the closing. That's right, the closing, when you actually transfer ownership from you to the new buyers. I'm gonna give you some tips so you can create a checklist for this process. That's what we're gonna be discussing right now. Number one, prepare your home for sale. What do I mean by that? It's a good idea to gather all the items the homeowner is gonna need once you transfer the ownership to them. This includes things as manuals for appliances, warranty information, garage door openers and extra keys. Before you head out the door, sometimes it's across town, sometimes it's pretty far away and you don't wanna to have to go back in the middle of the closing or worse yet, send your significant other back to get the items that you need so the closing can move forward as planned. So make sure you bring all those last minute things to the closing and we're gonna get into a little more detail as we go through. You wanna also make sure that you went through the property, your house, the garage, the closets, the, all the drawers, everything, and made sure you didn't leave something there that you didn't want to leave. Because once you transfer ownership, the house is no longer yours, and in some instances, it can be difficult to get back into the property to claim items that were not supposed to be left in the property. At the closing, when you show up at the closing, make sure everybody involved in selling the property, whoever's name is on the deed or title, has photo ID. Now, usually your attorney will coach you through this whole system, but it's also good to be a little proactive so you don't forget to do these last minute things. Make sure you also bring one set of keys so you can transfer one set of keys when you transfer that title. Security codes for any alarms that you might have on the house that you need to give to the new homeowner. Not recommended to give it to them beforehand. You wanna make sure the closing goes through as planned. Documentation for any repairs that the attorneys might have agreed that needed to be done. You need to have proof that those are uh, things have been done. I suggest bringing photos as well as the actual uh, repair contracts and bills to prove that you have that work done. The deed or title to the house so you can transfer ownership. Also, understand the agreement. Your attorney is there to coach you through the whole process, but this is the time where you need to ask questions. If you're not sure about something in during this process, that's what your attorney is there for. That's what the um, mortgage banker is there for. That's why your realtor is there. Ask them questions that need that you need to uh, get answers to so you could be comfortable with this whole process. After all, it is one of the largest um, transactions you're probably going to do in your lifetime. So it's very important that you are as comfortable as possible. Next, make sure after the closing, and keyword after, that you cancel all your insurance and utilities. Now you can call the utility company and tell them that you plan on moving on this day and please have the utilities turned off at midnight or whatever time you agree after you leave, but insurance is something you should not tell your insurance com company to cancel until the closing has actually gone through and you no longer own the house because you wanna keep your property protected as long as necessary, just in case something might have happened, the closing and go through, and then you found out that your homeowner's policy canceled, and who knows what can happen in that time. You don't want to be left in that sort of situation. So do not tell your um, insurance company to cancel your insurance until you have transferred ownership. Last thing, make sure you have a nice bottle of champagne or wine so that night you can celebrate that you have now sold your house. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, I don't forget which side the sign's on, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos like this. And definitely hit the bell for notifications. Again, Mark Schreier from Century 21, and I'll see you on the next video. Yeah.